Hi guys, I'm back with another video. This time I'm going to be talking about Akihabara, one of my favorite places in Japan. So despite its recent changes and a lot of shops closing down because they can't compare with internet prices and uh, general nighttime sleaze, it's still one of my favorite places to go to. I love just being there. I love the feel of it. It makes me feel so comfortable. So I thought I'd talk about maybe some things that you didn't know about Akihabara. Made cafes. Some love them, some sure as hell hate them. I've heard a lot of different YouTubers talk about how they're just not into made cafes and how they don't like those girls that are standing on the side of the street, like handing out flyers. But if you have ever been to Akihabara, you might have noticed that you never see those maids around Akihabara Station. Ideally, the best place to be handing out those flyers. That's because there is a strictly no flyer distribution area around Akihabara's electric town exit. This includes the shopping mall that is connected to Akihabara Station, Atreya Ichi. And even then, in order to hand out those flyers in the OK zones, you actually need a permit and you also need to follow certain regulations like not blocking the street. However, some cafes go around this rule by making their maids hold up a sign instead of handing out flyers, thus technically not needing a permit. Now, regardless of what you think about maid cafes, they are a huge part of Akihabara's image. And when you think of Akihabara, you think of maid cafes. And they are not just for guys, as shown in this one nationwide survey, which actually shows that the number of women who said yes to when they were asked if they had ever been to a maid cafe was pretty similar to the number of men that actually said yes. So a lot of girls go to maid cafes too. Also, did you know that maid cafes are just one type of what is known as kon cafe? Kon cafe is a Japanglish word. It's a fusion of concept and cafe. A more natural translation would probably be themed restaurants. And in Akihabara alone, there are over 200 kon cafe. So if the stereotypical maid cafe is not your thing, you can find a variety of other themed restaurants in Akihabara. There is actually a lot more to Akihabara than just Kon Cafe. A few minutes away from the main road of Akihabara under the train tracks, you can find 2K540 Akioka Artisan Alley. That was really hard to say. Here you can find a lot of unique souvenirs that are made by local artists. It has a very different feel compared to the rest of Akihabara and it's a really good place to go to if you just want a change of pace or you just want to chill. So the last place I'm going to be talking about is a food place. So Akihabara is known for very heavy foods, for ramen, uh, for basically foods that will raise your cholesterol. But this is one of the better places in Akihabara. It's Kyushu Jangara Ramen. So besides having just ordinary ramen, they also have vegan ramen. So if you you are a vegan or a vegetarian or you just don't want to eat meat have something a little bit lighter you can just go for the vegan option so anyway that's going to be it for me guys i hope you enjoyed the video i love talking about akihabara i hope to make more videos talking about akihabara uh, but until then hopefully i'll see you next time please give this video a thumbs up if you did enjoy it and yeah take care peace bye